hello everyone and today in this video i am going to uh, solve one question of the upsc engineering service mains examination that has been conducted today and the question is from air conditioning okay it is a you can say that combined air conditioning as well as heat transfer okay majority it is a heat transfer but uh, uh, after that it is converted into refrigeration rac okay so uh, first of all uh, let us see what the question is and here i have written in the same as per the answer sheet provided by upsc so here i have written the answer as per the upsc pattern that upsc is giving the space so we will see later but we will first see what the question is in all glass body air conditioned bus is having the height of 3 meter okay so height 3 meter here i have written so first of all this is the standard for writing the answer that is the given data first you have to write then what what you have to find out that is we have to write and here first write assumption and then start solving numerical so first i am reading out the whole question so height is given and width of is 3 meter it is also given and length is given 10 meter the inside temperature is given as a 20 degree and bus is moving is a speed of 60 km per hour and atmospheric temperature is 34 degree celsius it means heat will transfer from outside to inside the bus okay so neglecting the conduction resistance of the glass and assuming the walls and roofs are perfectly flat find the following that means the conduction resistance of the glass that we have to neglect so three things that we have to find that is heat transfer from the by, by the bus from the roof and wall, side walls okay that means only from roof and side walls so whatever the heat are we are gaining in the bus from roof and side walls neglect laminar region uh the sec that means what what it means that we will talk later then second we have to find uh, air conditioning capacity to remove that whatever heat is gained in question 1 and third one is how much power is required to run that air conditioning unit and here the properties of air it, it is given density kinematic viscosity thermal conductivity prandtl number and for turbulent flow uh, the nusselt number uh, relation is given 0 0.036 into renold number power 0.8 and prandtl number power 0.33 so here first of all i have just uh, try to show the schematic diagram of the bus and all the data that i here given i have to get written over here and cop it is also given and neglect the conduction resist conduction resistance it is given and air properties are given here so first of all what they ask heat gain by the bus from the roof and side walls so here first write down assumption that in questions itself it is told that neglect the conduct conduction resistance and bus is moving so heat gain will be only take place by convection and neglect we will neglect the heat gain from the front and back side that means this side uh, this side as well as here back side and then after we have find out renold number from rho v l by mu but kinematic viscosity is directly given that is mu by rho so we have put put at that value and we get 10.62 and into 10 power 6 renold number which is greater than 5 into 10 power 5 for flat plate condition so it is uh, confirm that flow is turbulent and now whatever the heat transfer because whenever flow is flowing so first first it is in laminar region then transition and then turbulent but whatever the heat transfer in laminar region it is written that neglect the laminar region that means you have to neglect the whatever heat transfer that is from laminar region so we will directly go out uh, for turbulent region so here it is a relation given hl by k that means nusselt number is equal to the 0.036 and whatever and i have put it all the value l k and renold number and prandtl number and i found that h value overall heat transfer coefficient that is 35.217 watt per meter square kelvin now what it is written uh, what we have to find out that heat transfer from roof and side wall so side wall having the main characteristic length that is from where the flow is flowing the main characteristic length that is uh, length l because in some cases diameter is also there so here length wise is a main characteristic length so length into height for the side walls both the side and for the roof that is l into breadth or width that is the heat transfer area but here uh, note down that height and breadth will is same so whatever heat transfer is taking from side wall it is also taking from roof so Uh, here i have written the heat transfer from uh, side wall and roof so heat transfer from side wall is equal to h delta t and temperature difference is given 
length is 10 and width is 3 and h i what what we have found already and we found that 14.791 kilowatt from side wall and this will be similar for roof so whatever the total so what is the total heat gain so total heat gain will be two times of side wall why because there are two sides left and right side of the side wall and roof so we can write the three times of 14.791 because heat transfer will be the same from each side so finally we got our answer as 44.373 kilowatt so this is the answer of first question second question they have asked how much uh, refrigeration capacity of that air conditioning unit so refrigeration capacity of that air conditioning unit that it is given by whatever heat transfer divided by 3.5 in terms of tr or you can say the tons of refrigeration if you want to find that is q by 3.5 so you will find you will put the values at 44.373 divided by 3.5 so you will get 12.67 tons of refrigeration that much uh, you have to that much capacity of air conditioner that you have to put now for power required we know that power is equal to refrigeration capacity divided by power so i have put it all the value and find out that uh, and cop value is given 4 in the question here you can see that in, in given data i have written 4 and here it is also given that cop is 4 so by putting all this value we get 11.09 kilowatt of uh, power required but here you, you cannot uh, conclude finalize where you cannot end your answer but we have you have to conclude that also so here i have written conclusion that heat gain it is 44.373 kilowatt capacity of air conditioning unit 12.67 tons of refrigerator refrigeration and power required is 11.09 kilowatt so here your answer is completed so this is the way you have to write in the exam so as soon as i got the paper and i solved this one question the similar way that we are going we are solving an exam so hope you like this video and i will share more and more uh, the remaining questions of the today's paper that i will uh, solve in upcoming videos okay so thank you for watching this video and stay tuned with this channel and subscribe it for upcoming videos of this question this question paper solution thank you for watching